Hello everyone, this is Ming Zhong. Welcome to today's market analysis for the S&P 500 E-Minutes Futures that's for the session of 26th of June. In this video, I am going to show you the market recap on the last session plus a potential trade review in the M3 timeframe which I will cover the entry, exits and the rationale behind. And going forward, I will cover the bias, the key levels to pay attention to, and also the potential setup for the session later. All right, so let's just get started. Uh, as we can see in this daily chart of the S&P 500 in minutes futures, uh, yesterday we have a, well, slightly bullish day because um, yesterday we didn't really see uh, follow through to the downside and eventually we have a last hour breakout which uh, closes uh, at a high so this is a little bit of encouraging um, if you pay attention to this bar here uh, the 19 yeah 19 of june uh, you can see that this was also a weakness but uh, eventually next day uh, followed by a quick recovery so would this be a similar situation to uh, 19th of June? Uh, then I think uh, we just uh, need to uh, get more information and let the market to tell us later. So uh, let me get down to the H1 time frame uh, to get a better view and clearer view. I think so far um, the market is still pretty uh, indecisive because even though, like I say, that uh, on the 19th of June, we see a little bit of the weakness, but uh, eventually uh, the price recover uh, in a morning session and then followed by a rally in the US session. So this is a pretty quick recovery. But uh, this move down here uh, on a 20, I think that's 24th. Yeah, that's 24th of June um, is a bit... Uh, a bit bearish than this move down here because uh, definitely the supply level is a lot higher than here and also I think um, the move down or the reaction from the top is definitely a lot larger so this is the largest wave that we have ever seen uh, within this range so it definitely looks like a weakness and it is a weakness but uh, look at what happened yesterday so just after it hit the selling climax then we just had a consolidation here and in the u.s session about nine o'clock yep there's a nine o'clock candle so we see that uh it just pretty much uh, fluctuate or consolidate within a very tight range uh, from about the low here is about 3010 to the high here is about 3050 um, basically, it's still within this range here. Uh, let me get this out. Okay, so this is the range. Whoops. Uh, let me delete this. Okay, so this is the range that uh, I'm talking about. So pretty much it's still uh, fluctuating within the range. So you can see that during the first few hours, uh, it's pretty much still within the range. So pretty much uh, indecisive uh, whether you want to commit to the downside or it's continue to the upside. Uh, it just uh, doesn't really show any hint. But uh, in the later part of the day, you can see that I think it's from 12 to 2 o'clock. So this little range here actually uh, showed a bit of the supply absorption corrector. And that's, uh, I think, when uh, the time that we should be a bit more uh, on a bullish side uh, let me switch to the m3 time frame then i think you can uh, uh, better appreciate this okay so this is the m3 time frame and this is the us opening time 9 30 my time here so you can see that it's pretty much we have a, a reaction down but uh, followed by a recovery and subsequently, the price just going nowhere and just uh, pretty much consolidate within uh, the range that I drawn up from about uh, 3010 to around 3050. So this is uh, how it actually uh, consolidate. But uh, look at this move up here from about uh, 1130. 
and subsequently it just uh, form this little range there so this is the supply absorption range that i talk about so pay attention to this uh, cell bar here so this is the supply zone so it's pretty much undergo a supply absorption process uh, with this kind of the pretty much a dull or decreasing volume signature and eventually it just uh, resolved the range itself uh, by the spring and followed by a sign of strength rally so this is a pretty impressive rally and definitely it's a sign of strength rally and then pullback keep going on so definitely uh, i think um the last hour push up uh is uh, pretty bullish and after the sign after the absorption process here so so far if uh let me get to this h1 time frame okay so far i think um there are quite a few of the possible scenarios that i can uh, anticipate because you can see that although this uh structure has a uh, sign of weakness if this were a true sign of weakness then this move up here i mean it just a uh, breakout of the resistance level at 3060 and eventually just uh, consolidate here and during the european london session it had a reaction but uh it could be just a test of this breakout bar so i mean there, there's a possibility that it can uh turn up test and then go up and continue to the upside or if we think about this whole move as a sign of weakness and this move up as a uh, last point of the supply, then definitely uh, we want to see a clean breakdown here. So we want to see a commitment to the downside so that you can see a continuation and to test the swing low at uh, somewhere around 2930. So this is quite uh, crucial at the moment because um, in order for this uh, bearish scenario uh, to become valid, we need to see commitment to the downside. So this is the first potential bearish scenario. And the other uh, scenario is pretty much, uh, we're still within this train, uh, sorry, this range. Uh, let me delete this, okay. So this is pretty much a range that we're still stuck within. And this kind of the move uh, without real commitment to the downside it's just like um it's, it's, it's just like a, some, some kind of the noise within the range so it could still uh, go up and go back to test the swing high level uh here near about 3140 or even 50 here so this is a possible uh, move as well so definitely i think we just need to wait for the market uh to to show its own action then we can only judge uh, by there so um let me get to the entry time frame to talk about uh the potential trade review because um yesterday as you can see that uh, during the first two hours was pretty pretty dull uh, i didn't really see commitment to the downside nor to the upside so after uh, the first two hours i just uh close my computer and uh, go to bed or I think maybe I, I think I read some some books anyway um, one of the potential trade uh, is somewhere around here because um, I talk about this uh, supply absorption this is a spring so even at that time uh, you probably wouldn't know it's a spring or it's just total breakdown then I think this bar is a pretty uh, good sign or a clue with a pickup of the volume and the second bar is definitely is a breakout bar here so this is a bar so you can just assume this could be the sign of strength rally to trade a breakout or even to trade after the slight pullback here because um, you can see that's just right after the breakout we have uh, three bars uh, just a stagnant there to pause a bit before the rally uh, continue so I think uh, this could be quite a nice uh, long entry, whether you trade the straight breakout uh, after this uh, breakout of the resistance here.
here or you can just buy at the closest bar or even uh, at a reaction point here so these few points are definitely good um, so this is the potential trade but uh, no trade for me because just uh, didn't really see any kind of the setup uh, while I'm still awake uh, yesterday all right so let me get down to h1 and yeah just now I talk about a uh, potential scenarios that I actually anticipated. I talk about a uh, potential uh, bearish uh, scenario, which I would like to see the commitment to the downside uh, to confirm that this is a true sign of uh, weakness. Otherwise, uh, I would just uh, like to see uh, some, some kind of the continuation uh, to the upside because um, so far this reaction is uh, not very threatening and in fact, it could be just, uh, like I say, it could be just a test of this uh, breakout bar or even it could be just merely just a test of this swing low here. So we have a swing low here and now we just uh, have a rally and it could come back to have a reaction as a test of this region before it actually turn up. So um, the immediate resistance level that I am watching definitely is the non-RTH high or you can call it the swing high at around 3080 and this is quite an, quite an important level I would say because you, if you look at, uh, let me delete this, if you look at this uh, bar here or the zone here, so this is quite a, a high volume bar. Uh, that's uh, together with the selling so definitely uh, you can see that price actually stole uh, at this level so we have already seen uh, S&P 500 to commit above uh, the first level which is uh, this bar here so definitely this is a sell, uh, supply zone and we have already seen it actually committed above uh, with last hour bar although now that we have a uh, reaction and drop back and fall back inside and maybe it's a test of this well we just uh, need to wait and see so definitely i think uh, immediate resistance is a uh, 3080 and followed by 3100 i think this is quite a resistance as well because uh, if you zoom in zoom out zoom out a bit here then you can see that i think 3100 is kind of like a access line where the price actually uh, interact quite a lot so definitely a level to watch and it actually uh, coincides with a this selling zone here so this is where the selling begin you can see that uh, let me mark this up so this is the selling bar here uh, and this is where the sell off begin the three uh, hourly bar that uh, send the S&P down to uh, 3020. So definitely this is an important level. And yeah, so the immediate uh, resistance level 3080, 3100. And if you can success, successfully uh, penetrate through, then definitely can take a look at the swing high level 3140 or even higher. And the immediate uh, support level definitely I think uh, this bar definitely worth to pay attention to because it's a uh, last hour breakout bar and would it be something like this uh, then go up go back test and then bounce up though that that could become a well possible long trade or if we have a, a further test for the reaction down to have a test of this uh, consolidation area with this kind of the reaction that's possible and then followed by a rally up and we'll just uh, need to see. So these are some of the bullish uh, scenarios uh, that's for the price to go up. Of course, uh, it can just uh, break down uh, totally. Then we can just uh, confirm that this, uh, this, this, this action here is actually a sign of weakness. And we should see uh, for the test of the swing low here. All right, so I talk about the uh, key levels and yeah, the bias for today definitely um, is kind of like neutral because uh, I think so far we just need to wait for confirmation from either side uh, to show its commitment to the upside or to the downside. And 
for the long term uh, bias definitely is still bullish because uh, pretty much if you zoom out a bit then you can see uh, my trading range there so it's still pretty much stuck within the 3220 to around 2920 so this is a pretty large range and if we just take a look at uh, uh, maybe maybe h4 i think you can see that this is quite a change of a character uh, at least for this up move so this is a up oh let me clean this up okay all right so this is the up move buying climax automatic reaction secondary test and so far i think uh, we are pretty much still at uh, at least uh, phase b and definitely uh, we'll see a lot of the volatility in phase a and b so this is uh, not that uh, uncommon i would say so uh, in terms of the larger picture i think uh, we are still stuck within this uh, large range here all right so the potential trade setup uh, for the later session, uh, like I mentioned just now, uh, so far I'm neutral. Uh, it could become a uh, could be a long entry if it can just uh, bounce it up, uh, test this bar here, bounce up here, or even it can just uh, reverse it here and then go to uh, commit higher. So maybe you can track the breakout setup or maybe the reversal. Or even you can just uh, wait until uh, the US session to see whether there is a strong movement uh, to test this uh, prior consolidation area and then whether there is uh, some kind of the support showed up then this could be the, some kind of the long entry or for very scenario definitely uh, is want to see the breakdown then you can just uh, trade the this kind of the continuation to the down move all right so that's uh, pretty much it uh, for my video today uh, it's friday and i think uh, everyone should be a bit relaxed and enjoy the weekend all right so if you enjoy the video just uh, uh hover to my uh, channel or the the name or the picture to follow me and click like uh, for this video and definitely subscribe to my video channel so that you get instant notification for my future videos so as usual, if you have any kind of the comments, suggestion, or trade ideas you would like me to have a look, or you feel that it's very interesting, then definitely uh, comment it below. I will reply it to you. All right, thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.